The apocalypse will strain any relationship. It destroyed mine with Mike. I wanted to eat people. He didn't. We went our separate ways. Now we're competing in a race to find the cure. Neither of us will stop until the other one is dead. But I know one thing for sure. It won't be me. It's a brand new day. Oh, day is here. I love when day comes. Day is my favorite part of the day. <laughs> oh, the monsters, they recoil. They can't handle the lights. Okay, so last night I, f I finally found a flashlight. So now I can go make a base and call it my own. So I'm going to go back to that house that I found over here. And I'm going to make a base. Oh, yes. I'm going to make a base. And then my plan is to head into the ghetto. To the bad part of town. The town that no part of town no one wants to step into. Here we go. Okay, let me just make sure that no one in the nighttime entered this place without my knowledge. Yes, this is going to be my base. It has everything I need. All right, so I'm going to set up shop here. So what I'm going to do is put this flashlight down right here. We'll start in this kitchen here and we'll, we'll bring light to the whole house little by little. I'm going to use this as a staging point for all the things I don't need. Rotten food, fireworks, fishing rod. I don't need that right now. We're, this is not a fishing trip. Let's get rid of all this rotten food. I don't eat rotten food, okay? People, I'll eat. Rotten food, that's where I draw the line. So let's get rid of all of this. If I ever have to come back here, definitely have some food supplies. I'll lower myself to eating rotten food, but I'm not going to like it. But only if I have to. I'm on the quest for bones. Let's just read this one more time. I found this flyer just on the ground somewhere randomly. I've done it. I figured it all out. If you're still alive and reading this, then you can help me. I know how to undo all of this. I can reverse the process. I can send the monsters back to where they came from. I just need bones. Yes, bones. I'm at the Apple Store downtown. If you can bring me 64 bones, then I can fix this. But you have to hurry. I'm bleeding. Bleeding bad. You have to hurry because I don't know how much longer I can hang on. I think we can leave this here. I get the gist of it. Okay. Mike's still out there. Oh, I hate that guy. I just wanted to eat people. He said no. So we had to part ways. He thinks he's some sort of angel just because he doesn't want to eat people. He thinks he's better than me. I'll show you who's best. I'm going to the ghetto. I'm going to the bad part of town. That's right. They say no one who's crossed these train tracks has ever lived to tell the tale. Well, I don't believe in fairy tales, and I don't believe in superstition. I'm going into the ghetto. Man, back before the post-apocalypse, I wouldn't even enter here. You know, I was a delivery truck driver, and I made deliveries all over the city. But when I got a delivery that told me to go to the ghetto, I just didn't do it. You know, I almost got fired. Okay, so what is this place? So I'm not very familiar with the ghetto. I never come in here. This looks like some sort of apartment complex. But it's been ransacked already. Look at this place. It's a mess. There's all sorts of stuff laying around. I don't know if looting and scavenging in here will be worthwhile. It's already been decimated. Look, there's a, a blast here. One of those creepy creeps, I'm sure. Someone... Someone probably died for this blast. Gotta stay on the lookout for Mike. He's out there somewhere. And I have a feeling that even though he doesn't eat people, he still kills them. And if he finds me before I find him, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for me, and we don't want that. So I'm gonna just keep moving. Oh, what am I looking for? I need better weapons. I got this, this uh, wooden sword. That's not gonna help me. And I've got a bow. I need to find a gun. But I mean, this is the ghetto after all, so there's got to be some 
some guns around here somewhere. What's in here? A spoon. Oh, yes. If I see Mike, I'm going to look into his eyes. I'm going to gouge him with that spoon. It sounds morbid to say, but what's got to be done has got to be done. Ooh, 5.56 rounds. I knew the ghetto would come through. Now we got some some handgun ammo. Or 5.56. That's for like... That's for like an assault rifle. You know, dirty needle. Leave it to the ghetto. Dragon colors. Dirty needle, dragon colors. I heard about the dragons. Aren't they one of the... One of the gangs here? In Coveton? Oh. Yes, dragon colors. Dirty rag, 5.56 round. The dragons, they were notorious. You know, I'm not very racist, but... Oh! A crowbar. Thank you, Ghetto, for coming through. I'm not racist, but the dragons were... Are the black gang. I, I read about... Or I heard about them on, on 60 Minutes. Okay, so what do I want to do? I'm a little scared to go into these ghetto homes. Look at all these green cars. What happened here? Maybe maybe there was a turf war? Was that what happened? Look at all these dead bodies. And monster bodies. Oh, there was a battle here. There was a firefight! There was a firefight. Oh man, snakes colors, it was the snakes. 7.62, it's for like an AK, isn't it? Maggot filled chicken, I'll keep collecting the food. I don't know if I'll ever eat that stuff, but I'll, I'll collect it nonetheless. <gasps> What's this? A Mac-10 and a bone. Oh, finally a gun. Now we're talking, now we're talking. Now I feel, I feel a lot better about things. Okay, let's go, let's go into one of these homes and see what we can find. Again, let's make sure everything is okay in here. Before we loot and scavenge. Oh, they've, they've ruined this rug, that's for sure. The carpet is, uh, I don't know if you can clean that up. What do we got in here? It's a garage. Got a lot of cars. Three car garage, huh? Oh, it's getting dark. And I heard a monster. Let's close the doors behind me. This guy took a bloodbath. Do you get it? Bloodbath? He's in the bathtub. You know, we can still joke in the post apocalypse. It's okay. I gotta I gotta stay sane somehow. Maybe it was the lack of jokes that drove me to cannibalism. I don't know. All right, let's start scavenging in here. It's got to be some good stuff. Playboy. All right. I don't have time for that. No time. What is that? Electrical components? Possibly. I might be able to find a use for that. I'm pretty handy with electronics. I mean, I was no electrician. Like I said, you know, I was a truck driver. But that doesn't mean I can't fork. Okay, more fuel for the fire. Now that we have a base, I can start uh, grabbing more things. So I can always go back to my base and drop them off. That way, if I ever need them, I'll have them. I don't know what that just spit out. Mushrooms! Excellent. Man, I'm doing really well on food. Maybe I can start skip the skipping these kitchens. I don't need any more food. Ketchup. Maybe I can stop taking all this rotten food with me. But you know, that's what they all say. Oh, I got plenty of food. And then two days later, they're shaking in an alley. Trying to eat other human beings. I know I've been there. I've been right there. It's not fun. Book and quill. No, I don't need that. No time for for creating manuscripts. I'll do that when I'm close to death, so that the world has something to remember me by. 7.62 round. That's interesting. 
another Playboy magazine. <laughs> Whoever lived here was probably single. I would imagine. What is this? Jordans? What do I have on? I just got leather boots. We're making an upgrade. Now we got Jordans. Let's put these back. We don't want this. Get rid of that. Man, I got... Oops. Oh, don't do that. I need that crowbar. I've got this TNT here, but I have no way of exploding it. I need a fuse of some sort. Where would I find a fuse? That's next on my agenda. Find a fuse. It's in here in the bathroom. This guy's got ammo in the bathroom? Talk about being prepared for anything. Flower pots in the bathroom? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll leave the glass bottles for now. What's this? Where does this go? Close the door behind you. Oh, we're in the attic now. I don't hear any monsters, but that doesn't mean we're safe. Let's just check it all out. It's like a maze up here. This is quite the attic. Oh my goodness. Alright, it seems safe. Fireworks? Okay. You know, that might be uh, something to keep. I don't know. Why would I need a firework? I don't know. Ooh, I'm on the roof. Mike's out there somewhere. I know he is. Okay, no signs of Mike. That's okay. Just got to keep my eyes and ears open. You know, he may seem like a, a good guy just because he didn't want to eat people. But I know him. I mean, I, I spent weeks with him in this post-apocalypse. A lot of ammo in here. I spent weeks with him. I know what he's about. And he might say that he wants to do the right thing. But I know. I know his true colors. Okay, I am officially lost in this attic. More fireworks, fine. How do I get out of here? I may have to go to the roof and then drop down. I don't want to break my ankle or anything, though. Whoever designed this attic was a sadist. How are you supposed to get out of here? I'm running in circles. Here we go, here we go. Perfect. All right. What's out here? The backyard? Close that door behind me. I hear I hear a skelly skell. I don't know where he's located. Maybe we could check in some of these cars for some loot. Oh, a mushroom. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll take all the food I can get. You can't have too much food in the post-apocalypse. Let me tell you that. Another mushroom. Playboy in a dirty rag. What do you do with that combination? I don't think I should touch it. <gasps> dirty rag and a flare. Oh, for my base. Perfect. Now I can light up my base even further. There's one thing about a base is when you go into your base, you want to be sure that you're all alone. A screw? I can use that in the furnace. You want to make sure you're all alone because if your base isn't safe, what kind of base is it? So I'll be using those flares for protection. Ow. Good thing my, I've got... Oh, another one! My hands are calloused from years of hard work or else I don't know if I could stand to break all these windows. Another electrical component? I guess so. We'll take it. We got one. Why not get the other? Another flare! Oh, my base is getting an upgrade. That's for sure. What about these cars here? This one's empty. What about this car? Dirty rag. A lot of dirty rags in this place. I don't know what they're doing with their dirty rags. A tire iron? My crowbar is better. We'll leave it. Believe it. I think we've pretty much done everything we can in this house. I still have a little bit of space left, so I don't need to go to back to base yet. So let's pick another house. Man, this ghetto gives me the creeps. At least it's daytime. I don't want to get caught here at night, that's for sure. 
The ghetto at night, even before the post-apocalypse, not the place to be. So let me make sure there's nothing here before I start uh, looting. Seems okay. Seems legit. Seems uninhabited. I do hear a witchy witch, I think. I don't know what that is. Or something. Let me make sure all these doors are closed before I loot and scavenge. Oh, has someone been here already? A lot of mushrooms. I'll take them. I'll take the mushrooms. A lot of spoons for eyeball gouging. I love to eyeball gouge and a bone. That brings me closer to my goal. 22. Beautiful. I just want to I want to get to that apple. <gasps> what in the heck is that? He hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. Oh, I've never seen one of those before. It's a black tall black man in the ghetto. All right, I get the picture. This is your house. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, tall black man in the ghetto. Oh. All right, that was not the house to be in. Okay, I learned my lesson. Let's go into this house. The worst part is he appeared at an... Oh, no. Time to bust my gun. Ow. Ow. I'm out of here. I got him. I got him. Ow, that hurt. Gotta eat some baked potato. Man, this house... Better be worth fighting for. I got some bones out of the deal, though. I'm up to 24. At least we know the Mac 10 works. At least we know the Mac 10 works. Let's make sure that there's no one here before we start looting. I hear something though. I hear a skelly skell. Okay, one of the green things. We're just gonna close the door on him. I don't think they know how to open doors yet. They haven't learned that one. Rotten tamale, I'll take it. I'm still taking rotten food. Man, night's got to be descending soon. Here we go. More flares for my base. 7.62 round. I got a Mac 10. I could probably make it fire somehow. We got a Takis and a Rotten Tamale. This must have been a Mexican family's house. Not racist, but come on. You do the math. Oh! <gasps> Eight tortillas! Of course it was a mix. Oh, I could live forever on eight tortillas. Oh, we're doing great now. We are doing great. And fuel to cook those tortillas up. What I like to do is I like to put my tortilla on the stove and then put a little butter on it. Oh, tortillas and butter. You know, I've, I've lived through hard times too. And sometimes you gotta eat a butter tortilla dinner, okay? That's just the way it goes. Do I want to deal with this thing? Let's deal with it. Time to get dealt with. Bust my gun. Mac 10! Yeah. There we go. Man, night's got to be descending on this place soon. I better, I better hurry up. I don't want to get caught in the ghetto at night. What is this? No, I could wear red. I actually look pretty good in red. I already got the red Jordan, so let's let's rock it. Let's roll with it. All right. Okay. Seven point six two rounds. <gasps> red leather pants. Why not? Let's go all red. It'll help me blend in with all the blood around here. Those jeans did serve me well, though. Thanks, jeans. Man, this guy. Oh, I figured it out. He's part of the, the the Bloods. I know a little bit about gang culture in Coveton, and the Bloods are a notorious Mexican gang who are known to be ruthless. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. Knights, knights descended. Knights here. Oh, man, I'm stuck in the ghetto at night. What am I going to do? I don't know.